Hello everybody, welcome to Nerdgasm and today we're going to review Ratchet which will be airing on uh, Netflix and um, it is not what I expected, it really isn't. Uh, when I first saw it, uh, the trailer, I thought it will be uh, kind of like um, Dexter, a female version of De Dexter. I wasn't really crude up about it but I kind of took a liking to it and so I started to watch it and the funny thing is, it's a really good show, um, but not a good show at the same time. Uh, from from my point, of, I I know that sounds kind of here and there, uh, but it's really well acted. Uh, it's got beautiful uh, cinematography. I mean, they've they've managed to do something very unique, and bring bright and very vibrant colors, crisp colors, to a, a rear dated sixties, seventies kind of kind of uh, show. Which um, which actually picked it up, but it gave it a much more cheerful look. Um, and I think what they're trying to go for this cheerful, too cheerful, eerie look, but it just didn't kind of mash up. Um, what the show is about is about Mildred Ratchet. Mildred Ratchet is her name, yeah, and she's this nurse who kind of uh, fabricates her past to get this uh, job. Um, on, on at a mental hospital and this is the time where lobotomy is where all the rage and they didn't fully understand mental conditions and uh, she was trying to get in there now there is some points that i i don't think i should tell you because in the event that you do watch it uh it would spoil the show but she's there for a personal reason and you know uh, what you what 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 uh, a key point that I must on early on. So sorry for starting this in late. This is kind of the prequel to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, right? But like my comparison to Dexter, it's it's at the very basic level the same, All right? But that's about it. Um, yes, her cause are just but just in her mind, and like Dexter, who actually had a proper moral compass. Uh, she on the hand, her compass is on the fence. <laughs> um, what else can I say? Uh, it's it's it never really grabs you, and, and that's a problem. It's got it's got great moments, great acting, and, and a great cameo by the guy who plays Justin from uh, Thirteen Reasons Why. He, he surprised me with that uh, little um, uh, role of his. Actually, that was actually one of the highlights because. You really get to see his acting chops there. <laughs> chops. You'll get that when you watch the series. But anyway, uh, yeah, look, as I said, it's a really good show. And this is now, I think, more my personal taste in it that actually didn't get me uh, gripped into it. And, 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 and I watched quite a bit of it and I just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't feeling it. Uh, the show has a lot of lot going for it. But, I mean, if you're watching shows on Netflix, you know that if you're not in by the fourth episode, you're not in. It, it, it's not in. It has a lot of good premises, explores a lot of uh, cool themes, uh, but uh, it just lacks a little soul. And you know what? It's ironic because she is a little bit soulless. Uh, she's, she's, she's manipulative. She tries to opposite uh, a lot of things in, in the asylum. And... Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's just a, a beautiful, I think the best way to put it, it's a beautiful mess. That's what the show is. It's a beautiful mess. Uh, I, I know, and this is the funny thing, you, I, I'm probably going to eat my words down the line when the show starts winning awards because it really is good, but in, in a way that, that doesn't grab you. So, um, it's interesting. I, I, I think I wanted to see a lot, this probably speaks volumes about me. But I wanted to see a lot more of the sadistic side uh, of, of what happens, you know, kind of like what De uh, Dexter was. And, and you know, I, I thought she'd go full serial killer on us, but she has the saving grace about her, which I, I guess at this point is is kind of her downfall. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're set in a year where the smoking is allowed and, and women have no say. Homosexuality is a problem, and and then there are instances where they expose her to that, and a lot of it feels forced, a lot of it feels on point. Uh, I guess it's it's a mixed feeling bag. I think if I have to score this, 
And I don't do scoring because I, I kind of hate scoring. I feel it gives an unjust look, but I'll just put my reviews up. If you notice, I kind of like you know, a little bit of both and I try and leave it up to you guys, the audience, to go watch it and, and make your own choice. Uh, it, it, I think this is the one where you got to really watch it to decide whether you like it or not. I don't think I'll be watching season two. Um, I, I, I really don't. Um, I know it's a bit harsh considering it, it has more good going for it than, than bad. That, that, that's the truth of it. And that's what makes this review so difficult is, uh, is that it has so much of positives, but that one, that one fundamental thing of just grabbing the audience, it doesn't have that, not for me. And, 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 and that that's why I'm here sitting trying to try to justify that. And I don't know why I am because and, and, okay, I do know why I am because it is a good show. It's well acted. It's, it's everything you want out of a good show. The storyline is pretty decent as well. But I, I, okay, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's decent. Maybe the storyline isn't as good as the rest of the show. Maybe that's where the problem is. Maybe that's why it hasn't gripped us. But yeah, so that's the, that's the show. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully I have a better review for, for now. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, if you guys could let us know is, do you like, or would you like us to actually score it? I just actually thought of that now. So I'm just slotting this in there. So um, as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.